Uggins bill would restore the fuel tax to its prior level. The tax is meant to fund village street improvements, but Uggins says there is already enough money without the increase to pay for the administration's road plans. $2 million coming from federal funds, $1.8 million coming from the Guam Highway Fund appropriated by the legislature. So it tells me that on an annual basis, approximately $3.5 to $3.8 million can be identified to repair village street, street roads. Uggen blames previous diversions to other government projects for depleting the street repair fund, but the senator's voting record shows he supported past bills that took money for other priorities. It's not so much a contradiction, he insists, but rather listening to what the people want them to do. I admit that there have been diversion of, of funds that I have supported in the past, but one of the things that we need to do is we need to right-size this government. We need to get back on track and ensure that the funds that are allocated for specific purposes are utilized specifically for that. The highway fund is the main source of money for road projects in all villages that was announced by DPW late last year. A public hearing on Uggen's bill is pending. For Guam's News Network, I'm Nestor Lacanto.